Hey everybody and welcome back to the 7th part of our multiplayer game. Uh, in this video we're going to be making our chat system. So let's get right into it. Uh, actually before we do, I just want you to know that I fixed the uh, text uh, error. Like you know, this uh, we messed up the coordinates before, so here's how to fix it. So with these pos new positions we're going to be drawing text relative to the camera. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time uh, showing you this, so here is the code if you want to copy it. And also one more thing we need to do is we need to go to this server and since we're not sending like the ID of every player I decided we're just gonna as a quick fix for now we're gonna send it uh, every step <coughs> send CMD my ID okay and here's gonna be my ID okay because we're not actually sending it when someone connects to every other player but anyway let's uh, continue with our chat system. So first of all, actually let's get back to the server and create a macro since we are closer to it. So here I'm gonna add a macro and let's name it packet chat seven. Now let's go ahead and from server to client. Well actually let's start with from with client to server. Okay. I'm gonna send send chat and well Let's copy everything in here. And I'm just gonna change this to um, chat. Also, it's um, this is gonna be argument zero. So basically, we're gonna send this message to the server. Make sure that it is uh, a string, and the server will send it back to every other client. So let's actually duplicate one of these and send send all chat. Okay, uh, this is gonna be packet chat, and actually we're gonna need the name and the message. So string, so they're both gonna be string. Okay, now let's go to the server and let's actually do the networking part first, and then we're gonna um, send the actual message. So when the server receives a message from the client, so packet. Uh, chat, oh, chat. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna read the message. So for msg equals buffer read, buffer, buffer string. Okay, so what the server is gonna do is basically it's going to send it for to every socket connected to the game. Um, okay, so here we're gonna change this to send all chat. Send all chat, and I'm just gonna need to change the arguments. So the first argument will be in socket, uh, the name, which is gonna be p dot name, and the message itself. So that's pretty much it for now. And now let's go to the client, and well, here is what we're we gonna do here. Um, so we want to display like what five. Um, maximum chat messages so I'm gonna create a macro in here uh, like max chat messages I'm gonna set it to 5 for now okay we're also going to create a variable called type in which is gonna be false by default we're gonna create uh, another variable called message which is the message that we are going to send and two lists so the first one being names which is gonna be list ds list create so here we're gonna store like the uh, names of the player that sent uh, the chat messages and the messages themselves. So DS list um, create. So let's go ahead to the step event and make sure if we are playing that we can uh, actually chat. So here what we're gonna do, I'm gonna say if keyboard check press, uh, let's say enter key, okay, VK enter. Now, what's gonna happen here? We're gonna say type in equals not type in. So basically, this is gonna be if you are typing, then uh, it's gonna be false, otherwise, it's gonna be true. So it's basically it's just like a switch. So now, what are we gonna say here? If not type in, so if not type in, then we want to send the message, okay? Now that means that uh, that means that we were typing and then we just press enter, so we want to send the message. So here we're gonna send send chat, 
and we're gonna send our message now in the step event here all the way back we're gonna say if type in if type in then um, message equals keyboard string keyboard string okay that's pretty much it also when we send the message we need to uh, make sure that this is that the keyboard string is null keyboard string equals basically an empty string also it's actually better to check if uh, string length string length uh, message is greater than let's say one okay so that we can't like actually send empty strings so yeah um, now we just want to display the message that we are typing so let's go ahead to the drop go event and in here okay so what are we doing here if not playing okay otherwise else I mean is uh, if we are playing then we want to draw the chat message that we are typing right so draw text uh, okay so let's go with like 10 and 620 or something plus and this is gonna be message okay and that's only if we are typing so if type in Okay. Um, all right. Now let's go to the networking event, and in here I'm gonna like um, mess with the chat messages. So here we're gonna say packet chat. So what are we gonna do here? Uh, we need to like read the name that sent us the message. So uh, it's gonna be buffer read buffer buffer string okay well this is duplicated and it's gonna be here the name and the message okay now we just need to add them to our list so here's what we're gonna do so if ds list size um, let's pick one of them names for example is less than chat messages maximum chat messages then in this case we just want to like uh, append to it so we're just gonna say ds list add so we have like names we're gonna add names to it our name or, or like the name of the player that sent the message uh, and we're just we're also going to add to the messages uh, if that's the name of it yes and uh, append m to it otherwise we want to replace the previous messages with um, the new ones so here's what uh, here's how, we, how we're gonna do it so we're gonna create a for loop here so for var i equals zero i is less than um max chat messages i plus plus then in here we're gonna do um ds list okay ds list um is it set okay yes set so for the names here's how we're gonna do it the position we need to find the position wait the position is gonna be i right and um, the value will be the chat messages. Um, so basically, the new messages, the new message that we received now, is going to be the last one, and the one that was last before is going to be the fourth, and uh, so forth. So in here, we're just going to say ds list find value uh, no, what am I doing yes let's find value so the idea is al always the names the position is gonna be a uh, e um, plus one right and we're gonna be doing the same thing with uh, the messages okay so we're basically just replacing the old messages with the new ones and this is gonna be messages as well uh, the last thing that we need to do is to replace like the actual last message so we need to do the smap set um, names so the value uh, the key here is gonna be 
Oh, sorry. This is supposed to be a list. This list. Set. So, names. The position is going to be max chat messages. Um, and the value is going to be n. Okay. And let's do the same thing with the messages. Alright, now the final thing that we need to do is display the chat itself. So, um, I'm gonna say here, okay, so how are we gonna do it? So, for var i equals 0, i is less than uh, ds list size. This is size, which is gonna be names or messages. Doesn't really which one you pick. I plus plus. Now we want to draw the text messages. So we're gonna say draw text. So we're gonna say 600. Or sorry, for the x, we're gonna start from x or from 10. Sorry. So we're gonna draw the name first, right? And just gonna be here. Um, well, let's do something like var n equals ds list find value names i okay let's duplicate this and I'm just gonna change this to uh, messages it's gonna be M okay uh, I'm just gonna pause the video my cat wants to get out so I'll bury all right everybody I'm back um, so let's keep going um, so we're drawing the text messages uh, the name sorry um, so this is the string, which is gonna be n, right? And well, let's do something fancy here. So we want to draw like the player's name with different colors. So we're gonna we're just gonna say draw set color here, draw set color, uh, like sea green or something, sea green, right? And let's duplicate this, change this to the messages to black maybe or something, maybe even white. I don't know. Well, let's do black for now, and we're gonna do draw text. Um, actually, here we're gonna do var t equals n plus this. Okay, I'm just gonna say here t. Okay, and in here we're gonna say ten. Ten plus string length. string length t and y is going to be 600 now we're going to change like um, um it's going to be message right but basically we need to do one more thing here um, so we want to draw the last message on the very bottom okay so this, this needs to be 600 minus um, okay so let me think about it minus two, 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 two. okay so this needs to be like the slate size uh, names minus I I think or sorry yeah yes that's it times maybe 20 yeah this should be fine and we're gonna do the same thing here all right <clears throat> so that should be it actually um let's let's see how it looks maybe even more, more final thing we just want to like draw set color here to i don't know maybe orange is just just give it a bright color here just to give us a feeling that we are doing something I'm gonna pause the video and get hey welcome back and um, well well it turns out that I was actually drawing the text outside the room I totally forgot that the uh, maximum height was 480 so I just changed uh, this to 460 and these two to 440 uh, one more thing that we need to do is actually to set the actually this um, We should have like set that here or something Okay, I just to make sure I'm just gonna paste it here as well. 
So let's actually, actually, while we're at it, let's change the font as well. So draw set font. Um, maybe small. What did you call it? Small. Yeah, is that it? Okay. Um, okay. So for the chat, this needs to be string width, I believe, not length. Okay. Length is just uh, return like how many characters it has. Width will like return the actual width of it. All right. Not only that, but in here, um, where is it? Do -do -do. So in here, this should this should be chat max chat messages minus one. Same thing here and here. Okay. So let's give it one more uh, try. This time I'm gonna be running two instances of it, and let's see how it goes. Okay, so your instance one, gonna run another one. Okay, so let's pick a name. It's gonna be React. Create a game. Let's cancel that for now. Pick a character. Let's join uh, from here. Join. Pick a different character. Okay, let's say hello. Okay, so we also need to like reset the the keyboard string when we first start the game. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, both clients can see the chat. Like, hi there. What's up? Mm, okay, so the chat is working. Now, you may want to add like some background in here or something so you can see the text clearly. But, um, yeah. So when we first like press the... So where it is? Um, so here, mm, well, this needs to be this, not a space, and I think when we start the game, or no, wait, else here we're gonna say keyboard string equals. Okay, I don't think we need to do this here. Yeah, that should be it. So that was it for today, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace.